A Maryland family whose dog was fatally shot by police is having to relive the ordeal all over again. Now the family is learning a judge slashed more than $1 million that they were initially awarded in court. George Solis breaks it all down. Good morning. I briefly spoke with a member of the Reeves family who now lives in California. He tells me the news is tough to hear. The family's attorney says the case is far from over. It was called one of the largest payouts ever involving the shooting death of a pet. $1.26 million awarded to the Reeves family from Glen Burnie after an Anne Arundel County jury found that a rookie cop was negligent and violated the family's constitutional rights in the shooting of the family's Chesapeake Bay Retriever named Vernon. Officer Rodney Price said he acted in self-defense after Vernon attacked him while he was on the Reeves property investigating a burglary in the neighborhood. The family speaking to WJZ days after the shooting back in 2014. And then and he says, I'm really, really sorry. I just had a shooting. And I'm like, you didn't have to. Friday, the family experiencing loss for the second time after an Anne Arundel County judge cut that $1 million reward to a little more than $200,000. The family's attorney explaining the reason for the dramatic decrease in damages. Well, what we're seeing here is the impact of an incredibly unfair state law. In Maryland, the legislature in the 80s decided to cap claims against the government at $200,000. Kerry Hansel telling WJZ cap or not, the case is far from over. The jury here spoke and it's being ignored. The Reeves attorney says this case has never really been about the money, but more so about seeking justice for Vernon. According to the Capitol Gazette, in a memo to the county judge, the county attorney wrote that the verdict is, quote, plainly excessive and shocks the conscience, and the evidence neither, quote, supported the idea Price acted in gross negligence, nor that the award amount was accurate. In a statement to WJZ, the deputy county attorney says the county and the police officer involved are still considering their appeal options going forward. Reporting George Solis, WJZ Eyewitness News. And the Reeves attorney says there will be another trial in the case in the coming days.